Hey there, it's Dr. K with Infinite Magic Productions, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to simplify radicals, knowing that all variables inside the radical are represented by positive numbers. So we don't have to worry about those expressions where we have neg negative numbers. So let's do an example. We're going to start off with an example where we have a radical such as the square root of x squared y cubed. So in this case, we have a radical that's a square root. That means the index here is 2. So that means that we can pull out variables outside of the radicand that have powers of 2 or bigger. So here we have a 2, we have a 3 here. Now another way of looking at this expression is by saying that it's the radical of x squared times y squared times y. In the case of y, when you multiply y with different powers, you're basically just going to add those powers. So we, here we have y squared times y, so it's the power of 2 plus the power of 1. This is an easy way to see how we can simplify it. Here, we're going to take this and pull it outside of the radical. Because this is a square root of two numbers that are squared, those numbers are going to turn into just the number. So it's the radical, uh, the radical of x squared is just x, and the radical of y squared is just y. So the only thing that's left of the radical is the radical y. So that's the answer to our first question. Now let's do a slightly more difficult question where, let's say we have a cubic root. So in this case, the index is the power 3. And inside the radicand, we have x to the 6th power and y to the 9th power. So in order to simplify this, we have to remember that we can pull out radicals with an exponent of 3 or higher outside of the radical. Or to simplify it in, in a different way, the exponents should be to the third power. So we can look at this as the same as the, ra the third root of x squared to the third power times y cubed to the third power. Here what we're doing is because we're taking a variable with a certain power and taking it to a higher power, we're going to multiply those powers. So x squared to the third power is the same as x to the sixth power. Likewise, y cubed to the th third higher power is the same as 9 cubed. I'm sorry, it's the same as y cubed. So here we have the third cubic root of two numbers that already have a higher third degree. So we're basically going to cancel all of these out, and the radical completely goes away. The answer that we're left is, is x squared times y cubed. So that's how you do it. That's how you simplify a radical, um, knowing that all variables are represented by positive numbers. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.